Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milklover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Kaiserreich. Having a great time as the United Baltic Duchy last time, we had a small, tiny, country-wide civil war. In which we won, obviously, against those evil, rebellious, misguided Latvians, Estonians, because, in the end, we all want to be German, I guess. At least in this campaign, we all want to be German. <laughs> Estland fortifications. Sounds like a good idea. So it's 1939. We gotta wait at, for a little bit more percentage to become more German. We're 90% of the way there, which is awesome. Uh, what can we do with political power? If we wanted to use political power, what would we do? Go to war with Guatemala? Probably not. Uh, carpet bombing doctrine. Oh, oh, I also let time go on. Oh, I did say yesterday I would let uh, I would um, let time go on. But to finish off the last focus of Baltic arsenals. Which is very good. So my bad for letting a few days go on. Uh, we need to do this. Remove the National Spirit Aftermath of Black Monday. Well, we get a dockyard. Another dockyard. A bonus to electronics. And then it's probably time to get Annex, maybe. Well, actually, we can't do very much since we still have to do Deutsch, Deutsch Baltica. And we'll, which we'll do that. And then integration. And then, wow, 140 days. A new Imperial State. This might be the episode where we become Germany. Maybe. So... Doing Sons of the Vaterland, I don't know if this will really do much for us. This really doesn't do much for us at the moment. Baltic Fleet might be good, because you get at least two dockyards compared to one, so a Baltic Fleet it is. Since Peter the Great, many naval battles have been fought in the Baltic Sea. We are proud of the prestige and legacy of our navy, and we will focus on improving our ships even more. My apologies for going nine days uh, without, you know, doing a focus. My bad. I thought I was playing Old World Blues for some reason with Königsberg right, right in my face. <sighs> but we had a good time anyways. So, we didn't have too many comments from yesterday's video. Whatever. Uh, one is that, you know, Missouri didn't choose their borders, which I totally agree with. I just was talking about Missouri yesterday. And that little boot. A very cute boot. But whatever. Very nice, very nice. And, oh, that... Louisville, Indianapolis. That does not look very good. Was it Frankfurt? Huh. And then they have a thing in... Well, they did have a thing in West Virginia. It's always weird. This is a really weird area. Kentucky. Uh, West Virginia. Ohio. It's a very area, weird area to think about. Then you have Virginia. West Virginia down here. Oh, I guess this area is just really weird. I don't know. It's America. Really weird stuff. Yeah, that's... Like I said in the last video, this is a bad idea if you're playing as the American Union State. You don't want to fight two enemies at once. You want all the enemies to kill each other first. Not you. You are precious. The enemies are not. So. Oh, yeah. And we also had... A, oh, Saudi Arabia's gone for now. Hello, Ottomans. What type of encirclement have you planned? Oh, no. They had a good encirclement. Why'd you do that? No. Oh, well. I really don't care for who's going to win. But I guess another comment from yesterday was, you know, make sure that we get the Central Alliance, you know, the World War One Alliance between Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Bulgarians and Ottomans, which, you know, I'll probably do. Probably. We'll see what happens. But I'll probably will do that. Uh, Middle Africa's looking great. Kingdom of Siam is gone. The peace conference is over. And with the Siamese... Federation and China is on fire, but that's normal. Let's see, they're authoritarian Democrats, centralized police force, so always of the police, consolidated bureaucracy, National Tr Reserves Act, and now they have major cities electrified. That's probably a good idea to electrify the major cities. Now, I also am trying to improve our Navy experience, and we have a Swedish state right here. What the heck? A little bit of lag, that's okay. Whoa! National populace? I guess you were national populace last time. Axel Gillenkrock. Gillenkrock. That is a special last name. Ah, get some Granat Waffe. Very good, very good. Let's get some improved infantry equipment. One. Yeah. I Order restored in Siam? Great. The status quo has been restored. I really hope we become Germany soon so I can make sure we have a good enough defense around here and have enough garrisons for all the potential naval invasions. Denmark? It's always interesting because Denmark is always a question regarding this. Uh, that makes sense. Finish... People join the Third International, but joining the Reich's Pact, and they leave, they have a white peace. If I play Germany, and Denmark joins us and then leaves us, like what normally happens in most of my campaigns, I'm just going to invade them. Like, I want to be touching Sweden. Especially when they're surrounded by enemies. That doesn't look very good for the Reich's Pact. Then again, of course, White Ruthenia, are they called that? White Ruthenia has joined the Russian sphere, and it's not very good for us. Ukraine's looking okay. Bulgaria somehow has managed to hold on for a while. They're split into two, which isn't very good. 
Varna is actually pretty well protected from the front lines for now. Romania is dying. If they lose Chisinau, Chisinau, they might just be dead. Sending the army, war propaganda. Oh, that really doesn't help us too much for the long term. This definitely will. Can we get any other ministers? We can lower this. Even though we really don't have any supplies or resources to use first. So it doesn't even matter if we raise it. Let's just do that. What are we building right now? We're building some roads in Estonia. Good. More roads, the better. Still trying to train some ships, which is very, very good. Oh, look. Sweden has nine ACRs. There goes Romania. Three cruisers. Heavy cruisers. Probably. They might be light cruisers, but they're probably just regular heavy cruisers. 21 destroyers and 16 subs. This is actually... Now, that's a green Romania. And by green Romania, I'm talking about Bulgaria. Now they can pull soldiers off of here and fight back the Serbs. This is probably the weirdest timeline where I've seen so far with Bulgaria, because I usually see them dying. They don't usually don't survive. They usually go like socialists after they lose the war. But what? Uh, what's up, man? What's what's going on? A little bit of manpower. The Serbs have no manpower. Okay, 28 factories. These guys have 16, 18. They're also fighting the Greeks, who has have no manpower. <clears throat> we congratulate the winners of the World Cup. Very cool. Uh, 53 divisions, maybe max. We might, might see Bulgaria win out here, especially with Romania gone. Ferdinand might just slap everyone down here. And, of course, we have the Baltic Fleet. Naval traditions. Naval technologies. We could get two more air bases, but what would that really do for us? Let's see, we still can't do that one yet, and that's okay. Let's do Baltic Dockyards. We are a coastal country, almost half of our land borders the Baltic Sea now, with many free hands available. We can send them to the dockyards to build up our fleet. A large and prosperous Baltic Navy we shall raise. And we got two more dockyards. And we're trying to build this up before it becomes, before we get integrated, which, how much further do we have to wait? Nine, oh, we got quite a few days to wait. What? Demobil- What? I wanted to mobilize. What, are you kidding me? No. Why? And which we get strikes? Why do we get strikes? No one likes striking. Not even the strikers like striking. Oh, and there's South African revolt. Well, I guess they're not striking. They're just rebelling. Or revolting. Depends if they win or not. Oh my god, Bulgaria's coming back. Oh, if they could... The fall of Madrid, oh. So falls the heart of the kingdom of... Oh, they got Sofia back. Oh boy, if they can take like this tile or this tile, it's over for these guys. And it's probably over. The, the war is probably over then. Bulgaria is coming back with a vengeance. I'm going to keep enough political power to make sure I can demobilize. I really don't want to lose any consumer goods. Uh, I wish I could help out here, but, you know, alas, I cannot. The American Civil War is... Second American Civil War is... Mm, at this point, I we might say the CSA might win here. They're, pr they're pushing hard. They're doing pretty well. The CSA is probably going to exist. Disappointing. Oh my god, they did it. Look at that. Bulgaria... Everyone give a little clap for Bulgaria. Good job. This is the first time I've ever seen Bulgaria win the war against the Belgrade Pact. They haven't won yet, obviously, but they have basically already won. That's amazing. Now they had to push into... Actually, who's the major power in this? Is Greece the major power? A major power in this? Oh, wow. We got Honduran Guatemalan War. Ottoman Yemeni War. Right came to Hunanese War. Here we are. Yeah, they had to capitulate the Greeks and the Serbs. They, oh my god. They lost a ton of guys. I mean, it's pretty comparable, but holy crud. Spanish Civil War. Very good, very good, very good. Very good, very good. Yeah, the Kingdom of Spain probably isn't going to win. If anything, I would prefer this, the Carlos Spain, to win instead of the CNT FAI. But we'll see what happens. Ooh, oh, yeah, and the Swiss went national populist, Swiss state. Very cool. Denmark's the probably social democrats. Under Christian the Tenth. The Dutch are social liberals. Actually... Yeah, Social Democrats. I was right. How are you guys? Hey, he's got a nice smile. Horner. Syndicalist. And the French. This French who has a, a certain type of stash. has a really short stash, if you know what I mean. He's syndicalist. And then the... The sad French. Sad French Republic. He's... Pierre. I would not want to be in Pierre's position. Mm. Alright, so we got 85 days. It's 94% of the way there. Just zoom on in and make sure we can go on a little faster. Ukraine. I have played as a Ukraine before in Kaiserreich, leading the war against the Russians, which was a little bit of a pain. But I managed to beat the Russians in the Reichspact as Ukraine before. 
Look, all that does control the regions. What are they doing now? They don't care about the effects of Black Monday. This looks like a new symbol. I don't ever remember seeing that symbol before. They've reorganized military or army. Hetman's army, Ukrainian navy. Yeah, that's actually really cool. A global Ukraine. Yeah, they definitely updated the focuses for this. And the French Republic is having the sad Frenchies are having a slight problem. Observe the rod. I think I went with coalition with the nationalists when I did this. Yeah. They definitely updated the focus uh, icons. Really cool. Guatemala's gone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 74 days. 95% of the way there. Very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, what is Poland up to after? That's a good question to ask. The Poles are... They remind me of the Austrian flag a lot there. The Baltic oil shelf. Cultural tensions. Never played as Poland in Kaiser, at least on this channel. Polish leadership. Integrating two armies. Lithuanian tactics. I would probably go with the Polish leadership, but that's just me for now. Oh, and they don't even know who wants to have the capital. Hmm. Common currency. Minority guarantees. V Vilnius as a capital. Huh. Yeah, this is definitely cool. Definitely, definitely cool you can do what, with what you can do with Poland. Oh, wait, hold on. This is the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The Polish nation by itself without Lithuania has its own different type of focus tree, which is... What I'm very, very used to. Okay, continue waiting on that. War propaganda. More than 50% will attention. There's only 49%. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Cool, cool, cool. We almost have more Baltic dockyards. It is August 30, 1938. September 1938, which is good. 95% of the way there. Please, game. Don't lag anymore. Oh, how's the uh, war going? Well, the, the Ottomans really aren't doing well. After they beat, beat up the Saudis... Egypt is coming back, as well as Iran is coming back as well. Bulgaria, you've done a great job. You still might lose. I mean, there's, they still might lose, but you, you never know. Austria, what are you up to? You should have, like, took stuff away from Hungary. And Russia is getting more aggressive, which I really don't like. Next up, Baltic Trade League. Another dockyard? Sure. There are many countries around the Baltic Sea. We desperately need new trade partners, and they can indeed be very good trade partners to us. We should establish new trade routes in the Baltic Sea. Good. And now we have four dockyards. Now we get it up in January, even though we could use a little bit more steel. We got plenty of guns, plenty of artillery, plenty of support equipment for now. Are we making a division? Yes, but we don't have any manpower. Very sad face. Very sad. Mm, I could change some things here, but it really wouldn't matter too much. Armor, light tanks, school. I'd probably just go with, if I was actually going to stay as a United Baltic Duchy, I'd probably give play as someone who gives me more manpower. Probably Robert Ulfer von Doser. Probably? It's not much. I might even do Chief of Staff, School of Fire Support, or even this one. Uh, more entrenchment, just because we're going to dig in if we were going to play as this nation for reals. Uh, engineering, cool. Really not much we can choose. You just go ahead and do that. Whatever. Okay, American Union State. You're allowing the combined syndicates of America to reach halfway through Alabama and Mississippi. They're weird states. They're really weird. Almost like a reflection on each other. Very weird. Cool. Mmm, this does not look good. Oh, and Swedish state is there. Yeah, this looks terrible. If they just took this tile. All these guys could die. They could all die there. Not smart. Well, the Kingdom of Spain is actually doing fairly okay against the CNT FAI. Not bad, not bad. What is the Socialist Republic of Italy doing? I want a snow. I want a snow? I want to see if they're going to go to war with their southern neighbors. Begin the Fourth Congress, strengthen the chairman. Ooh. Or strengthen the Republic. Cement chairman's power. What are these guys doing? Oh, do we have another thing here? we got 30 days. 96% of the way there. Great. Two Sicilies. What can you do? You are social liberals. You have the Papal States as a puppet, perhaps. War with the SRI. Cool. Oh, what does that do? Oh, you get a research slot. That's pretty cool. First Italian Empire. Ooh. Ottoman Empire calls for aid. Faced by an invasion from all sides, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire uh, has come to us in an effort to secure weapons for his dangerously under-equipped army while we ourselves are preparing ourselves for war as well. Sending our, some equipment over could earn us a trust and maybe even access to the valuable black gold of the desert. I got enough stuff. Yeah, I will send him stuff. Why not? This so this was another comment someone uh, told me. Oh, you get another research out there too. The Old Order? 
play as two Sicilies or even the Papal States or, you know, Piedmont or something like that. Italian Confederation. That doesn't seem like as much fun. Italian Empire. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, go ahead and do some construction stuff. Nice. Very nice. Oh, Estonia almost has perfect infrastructure. I love Estonia. Love it. Oh, nice. They did the deal with the devil, which... Wow, that's really ugly. Yep, deal with the devil. Interesting. Yeah, the American Union state. That was a smart move by them, but it wasn't a smart move to, you know, be at peace with these guys. Yeah. I need to... You know what? I really need to play as all the American states, or American factions in the Second American Civil War in Kaiserreich someday. I don't want to do this. But I play as a CSA. I need to play as American Union state, which I actually have plans for already. And then PSA, not super interested in them, but I want to try them out someday, as well as New England, and the federal government, but probably not as Hawaii. There's probably not a lot that you can do, so. Hey, look. China's a mess. Ottomans? You got, you did encirclement earlier, you lost it, now you're encircled yourselves. Why? Why would you do that? Strikes. Are strikes really that bad? Yes, they are. Holy cow. They're really, really bad. Oh, come on. Bulgaria, beat up those Serbs and the Greeks. I wish I literally had its own focus tree. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool. Capital ships, yeah, they have a generic focus tree. Can you imagine Illyria having their own focus tree? That'd be so cool. Germanization, three more percent. That's all we need. Three more percent. That's all we need. And I have to demobilize. God dang it, you pieces of garbage! What are you like, the followers of the apocalypse? Come on, man, that's not cool. Hey, right, but we'll soon have another ship, hopefully. Plenty of guns. Now, Ottomans, you better win. I gave you guns. 750 guns to shoot at other Middle Eastern people and Africans? North Africans? Yeah. 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 Uh, Azerba Does Azerbaijan have its own focus tree? No. No. Georgia. Georgia does. No, I'm thinking of Führerreich. Oh, you got a hat on. Gargin Nizde. And Cool. I should get a hat like that. Send in the army. I and mean, this really doesn't matter too much. More stability is always good to get, but... Eh. Actually, what's the navy like for these guys? The Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Hey, good guy. He's got a nice hat. Let's see. They have two ships. Two destroyers. That looks way more impressive than what it actually is. Cool, cool, cool. Germany, let's take a good look at what you got. Kaiser, you're looking looking kind of old there, Wilhelm. Looking kind of old. You have building the legation city ships. Why do you... Oh, what's going on? Why are you building the legation city ships? You have Easter promises, which makes sense. Everything else here makes sense as well, including uh, Irish prophets. Why did you go to war with Cuba? What does Cuba offer you? Like, they're paternal autocrats. Oh. South America. Why? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Electronics, remove the aftermath. Oh, we're so close. We just need one more. Is there anything for 35? No, actually. We do have a focus for 35 days. We can do it for 35 days. Sons of the Vatalam! Native bolts, the majority of our country's population, are not currently allowed to serve in the army. And we would rather die than allow them to do it. We are proud sons of the Vatalam, and our army must be entirely German. Which... Gives us a little bit more population. Political instability, we need to remove that still. Conscription crisis... So we'll get plus 5% division organization, plus 30% recruitable population factor, and plus 10% planning speed. Oh, there goes me. Oh, good job, Ottomans. Nice. That's good. That's a good first, second, third step. You are flooding into this part of Iran. Oh, look at that. It's very nice. Very nice. Hmm. I know we do. We could do stuff like this. If this is good, what do Dua, dua, dua. Is there anything I could do that could give me stuff that long term? Not really, no. I could go free trade, though. That would lessen the amount of resources we have, but we get 5% more construction speed and a little bit more output. Is 5% more construction speed worth it? Hmm. We're building up Northern Livonia. That's not bad. Sending the army... How long will it take for us to do this? So we have this for 140 days, 280 days 
before we can become a core or integrate it as a state into Germany. 280 days. I could do this. Synthetic refineries. Can I build synthetic refineries? That actually might be good to do. Integrated support. Well, I guess we'll do this. Because why not? Can we build... No. I would have to research this first. How close are we to researching this? Well, 214 days, so it tells me no. Not to build those. Yeah, so that's out of the question. Let's see. Really? Just... Go, go to free trade, I guess. I don't want to hurt my output too much. Maybe I'll do it, maybe not. We're, we're so close, so close. And... 99%. 1% more German. We're, we're too Baltic right now. We're way too Baltic. Just 1% more and they'll be fully Germanic. Or German enough, you know. What focus are they doing now? The Democles project, very cool. Choose Minerva. Mexico declare war on the CAC. How is it? AUS doing? They're getting the snot beaten out of them. Is Canada... Are you Are you not doing anything against this? Like, you sent volunteers to Spain. Carlos Spain. But not to, like... I guess the Federals did capitulate. But you, you want to have a good, strong CSA. You didn't even release New England. Oh, what is that? National focus. A building with a hat. British Exiles. Oh, we've already seen that. Sons of the Vatalan. Good. Uh, how many days is, does this take? Oh, you're not even done yet? Come on, man. Come on. Uh, I don't want to do another focus, but that's going to take so long. Is there anything for 35 days? Support artillery, land doctrine. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, my goodness. Naval traditions. Naval doctrine. Mmm. This gives you just bonuses. I guess we get an airbase? And let's do this one. So, a recent breakthrough in communication technology shows the importance of electronics in both in military communication and civ civil life. We must be advanced as the world's most powerful hegemons. In order to produce high-tech electronics, a brand new facility named Stadlicia Elektronische Fabrik, or SEF, shall be built. So basically, state electronic factories. Factories for the state electronics. Yeah, Sons of the Vatalan, not bad. Oh wait, that didn't help conscription crisis. Or did it? Well, I, yeah, I guess it did. Yeah, we're mobilizing a little bit more. Wow, we can mobilize a little bit more. Great. Now it takes two weeks. Oh, I should have done a 70 day focus instead. That was my bad. Whatever. Happens, happens. Repairing. Actually, how many guys are repairing at one time? Oh, that's not good. We just want to improve light ship. I know it's not very good. But whatever. 20 days for that, for that pre dreadnought? Jesus. Oof. You know what, if we're, uh, even if I put uh, upgrades on my ships, it doesn't mean anything, actually, at all. Because these, uh, why are you using level 1 torpedoes? Is that all you have? No, you have level 2s. I'm not even making you guess, so it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. This heavy ship, you should have at least that. Uh, you know what, take that. Oh, you already have a, a good but no. Actually, you should get some of this. I always like putting these on. Level 1s. Do you have level 1s? Basic radar's not bad. Oh, my goodness. Hey, yeah, you got level 2s there. Oh, you can become an armored cruiser. Oh, you're about fast. Oh, goodness. Less, little bit less light attack. More piercing, which is always good to have. It's always good to have more piercing. Very good. Happy 1939, though, my friends. Happy 1939. We're finally German. We are German. Now we gotta finish up this focus. Takes another 50 days, which takes forever. And then we can do the Deutsch Baltica. The process of Germanization has been successful. The Baltic Germans are now the dominant ethnicity within politics, as well as forming a significant minority within the population. We are finally eligible to apply to become an imperial state, if that is what we want, of course. We get 15% more stability, more war support, increased uh, popularity of paternal autocrats, political instability is changes with solidified minority rule, Plus 0.6 political power a day and 20% stability. Wow. Because right now, this gives us minus 20% stability, minus 0.3 daily political power gain. If we get plus 0.6, well, that's amazing. And currently, we only get 0.75, which is, eh, it's okay. Free trade. Cool. I guess if we want to choose one of these, solidify control, that doesn't matter. Send in the army. I want a little bit more stability for the few months we have left playing as. 
Be United Baltic Duchy. Bulgaria, please. Get advanced or something. Please do something. Ottomans, come on. Oh, you got encircled again, man. You got encircled in two places. Come on, man. Why? Yemen is looking kind of big, not gonna lie. This little thing, Najran? Looks a little weird, not gonna lie. Looks pretty weird. Princely Federation looks okay. I wish it had annexed Madras, but whatever. China, please. Come in, national government. That flag looks very familiar to me. Because uh, I have played the left KMT. Economic depression, expand sinicization policies. KMT in power. Democratic fortress. Agricultural reform successful. Prioritizing our equipment. What is a Qing doing? A king? A queen? An queen? Cool. Harmonious balance. You guys are... Cooperation. Cooperative, I guess. Looks like things are on fire, especially your industry. That's fine. We got plenty of guns. We really have plenty of guns, artillery, support equipment to make more divisions. It's always just that that little thing called manpower. It's always a thing called them. Actually, if I make more divisions like this, we can use them as soon as the war starts. So let's just. Uh, but we're, we still don't have any manpower. That's the that's just the deal. No manpower. Yeah, I'd love to make it, but no manpower. At least for now. The Ottomans are probably going to win with Iran taken out. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I found Aleppo. Oh, God. Just in time for the Egyptians to move up. This reminds me so much of Victoria, too. It's not even funny. Egypt owning this much land, and the Ottomans got to swipe them down. Mmm. Good times. Oh, the Kingdom of Spain is coming back, though. That's nice. That's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. We're almost done with our focus here, guys. We're almost done there. That's good. Oh, someone got encircled. Someone almost got encircled here. Uh, the Russians and the Germans fighting on the same side. That's really weird. What does the R Italian Republic do? Urbanization. Find the IRI. Let's see. Anything special here? Oh, the policies, of course. That's nice. And we've looked at... I've looked at this Italian Republic. I've looked at the SRI. I've looked at both of the southern states. But what about Piedmont? Oh, Machine and Pistola 28 or Oct... On Oh, no, no, no. Spion Oxish. Spion Oxish. Cool. Output. Make better guns. Thank you. I not looked at Piedmont. I have almost no interest in playing Piedmont because they're so tiny. What can you even do? French naval mission? Oh, found SEF. Great. We have 42 guys in reserve. Wow. Let's do Deutsche Baltica. I've already read this because we need to do it immediately. It's going to take quite a few years or months. Not years, but months to do. Royal Guards. Damage of garrisons, division defense on core territory, royalist fervor. What is the focus for them like? It is there. Oh, Friday and Sour, this happens every time. I'm not going to read it. It is what it is. What a childish fantasy. Yeah, by the time we become Germany, we are going to uh, be in the middle of the Second Valkyrie, which will be interesting. Oh, decisions and exile. Aust and there goes Australasia because they went crazy. Decisions in exile, a legitimate kingdom or a new constitution? Fair and free elections. Homecoming. Why would you want to have elections? It sounds much more fun having a kingdom. Proclaim the kingdom of Italy or proclaim a Sardia of Piedmont. Why would you why would you go with that? It seems so, so much more fun claiming all of Italy. It seems like a lot more fun. And since, you know, we're waiting for our focuses to get accomplished, to get finished, it's actually kind of fun looking at different focus trees that I've yet to look at. The Fall of Burgos, can the Carlos hope to come back from this? Probably not. Friendship with the French, promote Sardo, Italian Eridentinism. Yeah, oh yeah, I like that. Industrialize the South. Fund the University of Turin. Huh. Maybe we'll play them someday. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see what happens. The Mozambique Bush War. Ah, Middle Africa. I forgot you existed. You're not going to collapse this time. Authoritarian Democrats, you got a nice hat. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. He's got a budget, probably budget issues, efficient supply use, cash crops. Which way have they gone? They've not dealt with the Europeans so far. Cape to Cairo Railway, hopefully someday. University of Kinasha. Kinishasa. Cool. No Shuki Kingdom is gone. Good job, Ottomans. I gave you guns, and now you're going to win. Actually, how strong are they? George Kraut, they've got 19 destroyers, huh? That's a good amount of manpower, nice. They're only on volunteer only, that's pretty good. 19 divisions, Metal Afrikanische divisions, 9 infantry battalions, uh, yeah, within their templates. Alright, it's not bad, could be worse, could be so much worse. 
What is Portugal like? National populists. Under Duarte II, sounds a little familiar to me. Parliament suspended. That's always fun to suspend Parliament. They don't have a lot of divisions, so, alright, you know, whatever. Well, since we're playing as, you know, a German, potential German state, we are a German protector right now. I do want the Germans to win in Middle Africa, so that'll be good. Oh, wow, look, Kingdom of Spain's looking pretty good. Pretty darn awesome. Marrakesh, Union of South Africa. Hello, you look. Oh, Mohammed V. Very cool. Learning from our mistakes. Off with a German yoke. Hmm. Deal with the devil. Our friends on the other side. Treaty with Libya. The Timbuktu claim. The war for Africa's soul. Interesting. Learning from our mistakes. That's cool. New Western realm. Francophobe rhetoric. The king's gedarme. Industrialize the realm. We are about a third of the way through. This, uh, they're holding on. And actually, let's open up a front here with Bismarck, Pierre, with the Dakotas. Very cool, very cool. What is Russia doing? We should probably... What the heck? Why? Why? Why did you just not annex them? That's disgusting. A lash autonomy? That's too much autonomy. Oh, you actually don't have cores on this. You have um, compliance and resistance here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, what is that? Gold reserves? Increased investments? Okay, cool. They're market liberals, so they want to make a couple dollars. Alright, cool. Mm, Japan. What are you up to? Bureaucratic economy. Burn to ash strategy. The rising sun. We can't see what they're doing. Oh, yeah, we can. Bureaucratic economy. Central railroad. That's kind of cool. That's so disgusting, McLeek. You're very disgusting. The Ottomans... I need to play as the Ottomans someday. In Kaiserreich. This seems like a really fun nation to play as, because they have so much debt. You have Abdul Mised II, Plan Mobilization. Reformed Education. That national spirit looks like we just saw that for some reason. Uh, public debt. Yep, that is not good. Debt is very not good. They have Ottoman decline, which actually looks a little better than what it used to be. Uh, the Dutch are having some problems, but, you know, what else is new? Masters of the state. Political interests. Support parliament. I'd probably dissolve parliament just for funsies. Eliminate all opposition. Sounds like fun. Bureaucratic reforms. Enforce the rule of law. Very cool. Oh, they, oh, they navally invaded. Oh, that's a smart gamer move right there. Egypt, though. What What do you like? You're led by Farouk I. Illiterate populace. Inexperienced military. Land-owning elites. Uh oh, what's going on? Venezuela elects a syndicalist government, a socialist Venezuela? Really? Industrial modernization, developing economy. What do they have here? The Cairo Pact. Seems like a fun issue to play as. Military investments. Very cool. Uh, Bulgaria. Come on, do something, man. Deutsche Baltica, we're a little over halfway, which is great. God, that focus takes so long to do. It's already May 20th. What is Germany doing? It looks like they're mobilizing a lot of guys on the front line. Restore the Bundesrat. That's not enough to Germany. Germany. Daddy here. That's not enough divisions. What happens if they're in another two-front war? You got... Uh, well, you got a lot of different types of divisions, which I don't agree with. That's okay. That's not... Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. They're making 40 combat with infantry divisions. 14 infantry battalions, 4 artillery battalions, engineers, and cavalry recon detachments. Maybe I was a little rash to judge them. They have 2 million manpower in... De that's deployed already. They have no artillery. They have a little stockpile of guns. They got a few planes. No support equipment. And almost basically no tanks. Oh my god, Germany. You're putting yourselves in, in a bad uh, place. That's not bueno. Next up. Uh, Bohemia. The big Bohemia. I like Bohemia. Johannes II. Ethiopia, Somalia, cool. Electrify the Sud, Ban. Alright, where's that? Oh, they did go down the left path. Oh, uh, why? I should have made Austria go down that one way. You know what? If I want to become Germany, eventually I might just, like, take over Austria. And make it, like, the Austria... Aust a big old Austrian Empire again, but whatever. Second Melbourne Uprising, how alarming... What the hell is going on down here? Melbourne. Canberra. Melbourne. Is it on this coast? 
Melbourne. Oh, it's down here. Uh, your national populace now, Prince George. Upgrading. Yep, yeah, this is why I don't want to play as Australasian Confederation. Just because, like, don't they, like, change government, like, every year or something? Wadai is gone. I deck engineer is pretty cool. And then they have new unrest. Well, they always have unrest. Uh, cool. Solidify control. Eh. You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. What else am I going to spend my political power on for long-term stuff? Nothing. Actually, we already built up roads in up here. So, Estonia, you're looking great. Northern Livonia, you're looking okay. Livonia proper is looking great. Riga needs more stuff. And then Courland's looking awesome as well. We're doing really great with building up infrastructure. Those Russian divisions look pretty... kind of menacing, not gonna lie. Let's see, who have I not taken a look at? We've looked at pretty much everyone in Europe. What are the Norwegians doing? No one ever remembers Norway. Seek military aid. Totalist education. Oh, you're totalist. Wow, you went completely that direction. Maximist foreign policy. Uh oh. Oh, the justifying on us. Oh boy. Demand Alsace Lorraine. Working women. And then they have French Swiss cooper cooperate. Why are you. Cooperation? You went back to social conservative? What the heck? Well, you were Swiss state. You were so like, oh, they had a failed coup. I missed that. What the heck? Fill the gold reserves. Did that lock you out of some focuses now or something? This is well, foreign agents. Black spot of Europe. Reclaim the nation. Enemy on all sides. Oh boy. Now the AI is usually pretty good at holding the line for a while, so I'm not too worried about that. What I'm really worried about is this guy over here named uh, Karel. Or Vladimir, I guess it's Vladimir now. Vladimir, he, he worries me a little bit. I mean, we only have five divisions. I haven't been able to make any other divisions at all. I've been trying to get some more naval XP, but... I mean, I'm only training these ships so that when I become Germany, hopefully we get these ships, and they have a little bit of experience, even though they're they're, they're okay. They're not great, you know? Ah, oh, we're almost done with Deutsche Baltica. Thank God. Oh, they ended their hostilities. What happened? Did they take colonies? Please tell me they took colonies. They took part of Angola, or Zambia, or whatever this is. Disperse industry, three, good, good, good. 1939, we might be able to build up some radar. 142 days, you might as well, since it's going to take another 140 days to research stuff, so. We're so close. Portugal joined the Entente, all right. The fall of Barcelona, CNTF AI has capitulated. Kingdom of Spain is victorious over them. Recovery from the crisis sounds like fun, but... <sighs> integration. So, the Vaterland calls. We are Germans, and our duchy shall become the 29th Imperial State. A glorious future awaits us under the full protection and oversight of the German Vaterland. I hope they accept. That'd be really awkward if they did not accept integration. In which now we are going to wait just a little bit. Solidified minority rule. Now we get one... That's a lot of political power right now. That's a lot of political power. 84% stability. 33% war support, that could be better, but, uh, that's not bad. Of course, we could still use some manpower, but that ain't bad. That really ain't bad. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, how much more manpower do, do we need to make a single division? Well, we're trading 63% at 62%. We need just a mere 5,000, maybe a little over 5,000 guys left. That's okay. That's all right. And the Dutch... I, I gotta keep an eye on the Dutch just because sometimes I got rebellions and rebellions aren't cool and that could be a potential enemy against the Germans which no one likes and America you are <sighs> this is disappointing Florida is almost its, its own state now oh hey look Carlos Spain lost that's Kingdom of Spain hello there Kingdom of Spain how Wow, you look really sad. Holy cow. Miguel, what happened? I know you just came back from a civil war, man, but you're like Spanish Santa Claus who's like just told he lost his job or something. Regent oh, assassinated. Oh. Interesting. Effects of Black Monday, of course. Memories of the Republic. Diplomatic focus. Fractures society. That's never good to have. French assistance is always good to have sometimes. Oh, that does not look my boy, no, my friends. That does not look my boy, no. I'm really surprised the Socialist Republic has yet to go to war with these guys. I'm glad they're not in the Third International yet, but still. 
still. Oh, they got some tanky boys. I hope Germany got some anti-tank. I'm glad they made 40 combat with divisions, which is probably what we're going to do as well. And you guys have who? Middle Africa, you got us, you got German East Indies and Morocco as puppets. Uh, and things are shaping up. Things are looking pretty good for the world. The Ottoman Empire is looking like a thick daddy now. Now that's nice. We might just be able to reform the Central Powers. Please don't release him as a puppet, please, please. No, Iran, why'd you have to release Iran? Eh, I like the less lag, but whatever. Oh, please don't release Egypt or Libya. Oh, they did. Oh, what is this, Victoria 2? Please, no. That's how long Egypt. That's really long. And, oh, Arabia. God, it looks so much nicer if the Ottomans just own everything. Ah. <sighs> But they should get some sort of national spirit saying that hey, they won the war. Or something. It's August 24th, almost. How close are they to finishing up their focus? Oh, they're pretty darn close. How close are we? We're not really close at all. 100 more days. So this episode, we will not be able to form or become a state of Germany. Early on, in the next episode, we should be able to. Unless we keep going on for now. We might just keep going on for now, just to see what it looks like. Yeah, let's just keep going on for now. I want to see the war happen. Uh, that's, uh, that's disgusting. I don't want to come back to that. Mm, is there anything else going on? That's, oh, I guess there's Somalia and Ethiopia killing each other. The Royal Navy. You look kind of worn out as, too, as well, man. Social liberals. Somalia has its own focus tree. But Hungary doesn't. Uh, Ethiopia looks kind of interesting, though. Good God. A greater Ethiopian state. Nice, nice. South African... The world is under precipice. South African Federation. It seems like we're going to go to... And they... Germany, please. I have to become Germany as fast as possible so that they don't just go ham diddly damn into French lands. Okay, so now the SRI has joined in. The Second Valkyrie War is hell. Oh god, looks like they're just wasting manpower. And we have a little war going on in Asia here, but I also noticed for a little whoopsie daisy. The fifth Zili Fengshin War. Denmark is joined. Please don't attack, you're wasting manpower. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh god, they're. Oh my goodness. Our master, the German Empire, needs our help and called us into the war. Now is a good time to mobilize. Oh, I'd like to go to the war to the economy. Uh, we could... That probably... Oh, I need to stop training. Stop training, go home. I will get one thing of oil. Maybe I can blow up some enemy ships. Maybe. Uh, where can we get oil from? Azerbaijan. Let's get... Let's start getting a little bit more fuel. Let's get our guys to operate around here. We don't need that much to use these guys, so... So maybe you could find some convoy rating to do here. Put these guys on low... Because I don't want them sunk. Oh, the Russian Empire declared war on Armenia. We're trying to find some convoys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. We get found some French convoys. And before we forget, I don't want to get navally invaded. Oh, I'm going to send you guys to do uh, this. At least this is not Old World Blues where you have to pay for divisions. Um, quit out of that. Italian Republic joined the Donut Adria Boon. That's good. Just do all that. There you go. There you go. You only have four places to defend. That'll be good. Uh, the main forces. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a lot of lag from that. Uh, good luck. Good luck. <gasps> Did we do something? We sunk an enemy convoy. We are amazing. Oh, God. Oh, two Sicilies is doing the right spec. That's good. That's good. Please stop attacking Germany, please. Oh, my... Oh, there's there's quite a... I mean, honestly, there's quite a big fleet difference between the Germans... Or there's a huge fleet for the Reichs Pact and the, you know, Third International. Okay, two Sicilies. Looks like they're winning down here. That's good. Just keep it green. As I try to do integration, I want to finish this focus. This is going to be a long video, I know. We're almost halfway through this focus because I want to start the next video as the German Empire without me t doing anything weird with it just like starting straight off and you guys are repairing 
Come on, find something here. You guys can do something. Archibald, find something. Actually, can I upgrade you? I can. Consume an expert less visibility. Yeah, that that'd be good. Smoke screen. Specialist. Retreat chance. Yeah, that's good to do as well. Good, we buffed him up. Now, Alexander von Salz. Superior positioning. Enemy fleet size penalty. Consume an expert. Um, fleet size penalty would probably be good to do. Let's do lone wolf. And we also do the same thing. Retreat chance. That might be a good idea to do, because I don't want my ships to hit hard. Alright, losses. What the hell is going on around here? Oh, look at that fleet. Oh, that's a Sicilian fleet. Oh. Uh, pacification of Southern China. Uh, where is it? S Syndicate Cuban War. Wow, there's a lot of losses. Oh, uh, where is it? Co oh, it's the Communards. That's a lot of losses. Germany, please stop attacking, please. <laughs> they actually lost quite a few guys. They lost more guys, actually. How did that, how's that, what the, uh, duh, blah, words, difficult. Sweden, you're doing great. Of course, with the help of the Ukrainians, uh, the Poles, allies, good people, you know. Um, something that could help us for the long term. Uh, radar, maybe? Integrated support? Yeah, as long as Russia's not at war with us, we can probably do pretty darn well. Capitulate the, the Norwegians first. Then maybe the the Finns are they've completely abandoned the border, of course. Because why would why why shouldn't they? We can't deploy because we have no man. God dang it! Ugh. But at least now Canada is at war with the Third International, which will bring in their navies as well, which will be a great, beautiful thing. Two Sicilies is on a roll. They need they did not navy invade because the Papal State is a puppet, which is great. Yes, we would take that. Good, that's good to have. But devoted subjects. The East is giving me some time. The Entente and Reich's Pact to meet. With both the Entente and the Reich's Pact now at war with the Third International, the Dominion of Canada has called for a conference between their leaders and the Canadian city of Halifax in order to discuss the possibility of cooperation, and the German Empire has agreed. While it is currently unclear how far such cooperation would go, it seems worth the attempt. A representative from the United Baltic Duchy has been asked to attend. We shall be there. And it is merely a little 50, less than 50 days for integration. My apologies. I know it's taking a while to do this, but we must observe what's happening because I'm not going to go to fight too many battles here. Uh oh, what's going on here? Our guys have found some convoys. Archibald, you're doing a good job. Our positioning is the Halifax Conference. Leaders from the Anton and Rexpect gathered in Halifax today in order to discuss the possibility of cooperation in the war against the Third International. What this cooperation would consist of was not difficult to ascertain. Or, yeah. Military and naval access between all members, but more. Armenia is gone. Fail failure? What? But more importantly for the Entente, the willingness of the part of the Reichspact to stay out of both France and Great Britain once the war is done. This would allow for a swift return to Europe for the French and British exile governments, the ultimate goal of both. But now a single question hangs over the conference. Would the German Empire even agree to such terms? And if so, what would they ask for in return? That's an excellent question. We already know. It's over, though. I would say, you know what, for funsies, we would say yes. So we could focus on Russia. And then have a third war to take out the Entente. But positioning. Actually, let's zoom in a little bit more to help things go a little faster. Legation cities have joined the Entente. Yes, Sardinia. Positioning. Oh, we have a larger... We don't have that much of a larger fleet. Six, six convoys. Six uh, torpedo boats, basically. And the third international has invaded Bruges, which is... Eh, not that bad. Really not that bad. And I know this is probably one of the longest videos I'm ever going to do on my channel. Oh god, I want to see this. Oh my god, Sichuan has joined the United Provinces of China. Oh, this is a big naval battle. Even though it's mostly just subs. Oh, they sunk a lot of those ships. Oh god, what's going on here? Now, there's their fleet. This is the Reich's Pact. So Germany's fleet. Oh god. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. Process faster. Nice. Come out. What's going on here? Pull your ships out. They're not in good standing to fight. Oh my goodness. It's, the AI is so special. They're subs. I mean, this is a nice fleet, but... Ugh, naval management, man. Naval management. I mean, we can find... I mean, we're doing a number of damage on these guys. We've got no heavy guns. we got plenty of torpedoes. These guys have nothing on them, though. Archibald, you're doing a great job, man. 
you have any experience yet? Yes, he's become a sea wolf, a superior tactician, and an inshore fighter. Very good. And he's using the best of what he has at the moment. Please, Germany, for the love of God, stop attacking. Europat, what is this? Unpaid Ottoman debts. Oh, I could send Atache. I give him. We will get more autonomy, which I don't care about. They get military. We get military experience. Huh. I'm still out of manpower. I can still work with that manpower. That's not too bad. Stockpile, division wise. Oh, just. Uh, God dang it. Daddy Germany. Kaiser Daddy, why you hurt me? The fall of Beijing. Oh, boy. The world is really on fire. Get more war support. We really don't need that. Go to war economy. We gotta make more roads. <laughs> and this is. Yeah, the CSA is gonna win the war against the Pacific states. What? Why Why do they own this? Why do they own this? That doesn't make any sense. If New Orleans falls, will they just have the base, their capital in LA? Nah, uh, Ching China's not doing that bad, though. Come on, let, let more fires happen. Oh, they're not winning. Please stop attacking, guys. That's, you're attacking it hills and mountains. Italy is a very dis questionable place to train. And Bulgaria is losing it. I thought they would have won the war, but... They, they, they got encircled in several places. They're... Oh, God. No, oh, man. That's not good. That's so not good. Sure, let's do that. Find a couple more convoys to sink. Have a good time with them. As we're trying to get a little bit more fuel, which will be good. Resource wise, we're doing well. We can give stuff to the German army or, or when we integrate ourselves. As a 29th state into the German Empire, what is Austria doing? The Illyrian Sudaban. I want them to fight. Okay, whatever. Uh, with Germany against the Third International. Eretria revolts. I don't think anyone has really has that much time to care about that right now, guys. Nice. More convoys sunk. Archibald's doing a great job. I love Archibald. We're so close, guys. We're super close. I, and I want to show you guys what happens because I don't know. How many other people have done this type of campaign where we inter in literally integrate ourselves into the German Empire or anything like that for any other type of country and relationship and stuff like that? The Union of Brazil is proclaimed. The syndicalist menace spreads. Um, improved competing. Uh, I know this video's going on for a very long time. I just want to see what happens. Uh, just do that. It doesn't matter. Can I... Recover from crisis? Sure. Can I can I become part of you now? And there you go. So I'll see you all tomorrow when we begin as the German Empire. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.